Right, just a quick update guys, just to let you know what's going on, what's going down. We are on the way to Kiwara, which is uh, an infinite, infamous uh, salt mine. It's the second biggest of its kind uh, in the world. Uh, the biggest one being in Poland. And we're just traversing through the mountains here to get to our destination. And you can see they're ab absolutely magnificent. The big mountains here, and the, these are the only mountains in Punjab as well, by the way. Uh, Punjab is uh, known for its flat territory for growing um, uh, fruits and vegetables. But look at these mountains here. Quite big, massive valley down there on the side of the mountain there. Look at that. Amazing. And uh, we're going to be there very shortly, roughly about half an hour. And we hope we'll be at the mine and then we'll be able to give you some more videos and pictures uh, from there. So we'll see you very shortly. Right, so we're very close to our visiting resort, Salt Mines, Kiwara. There's a lot of shops on the sides here selling their wares. Uh, all salt rock, beautiful lampshades, different types of ornaments. And we'll see further on as well, a lot more of that. We're coming to the entrance here. need to get our ticket for our parking so, get our ticket there and we can sort of how much does he want? Hey? 50 rupees is the fee for the entrance in the vehicle so that's going to be for the parking I'm sure well there is actually another fee to pay for the entrance into the mines as well. Um, right, we've just gone in there and straight on. A lot of mountains on the sides, a lot of history here, which we'll talk about a bit further as we get closer uh, from the boards. Right guys, we've just arrived at Kiwa Salt Mines uh, at Kiwa and we're just going to get our ticket to gain entry into the actual mines itself and um, if I remember correctly, I've been before and uh, we actually go to the mine entrance and there's a train to catch and the train actually takes us um, into the mine, deep into the mine, um, which is quite um, thrilling. So. We're just going to get up to the <coughs> ticket office, um, get the ticket and then uh, head towards the mine. Um, but it's quite nippy actually outside, so it's going to be quite um, cold as well inside the mine, obviously. Uh, it's uh, You're going to go deep in there, so it's quite cold. <coughs> and uh, <coughs> here's a tourist reception hall. Sorry, I've got a bit of a cough, it's cold. Um, the inauguration opening ceremony. You can see the details there. In 2002, so for 18 years, it's been open to the public uh, as such. So you can get a bit of a historical background here as well. See the sign here. So as I mentioned earlier. Lots of history. So the historical background is 326 BC. It was discovered by the licking uh, of crop um, by the horses of Alexander the Great that they had a high salt content. And Alexander, of course, um, had a great battle when he fought uh, with Raja Porus there. But there's lots of dates there with lots of different sort of historical accounts. Let's sort of have a look at there the dates. And of course the information on there as well, you can have a, a good read of that. So we're going to head towards the uh, ticket counter to get our ticket. And we'll tell you what the costs are associated with that as well. So Kira Salt Mines, Tourist Resort. <coughs> Audio, you good, you know. Acho. There's a 
priceless there, guys. Yes, now keep going, don't you? लिखना चाहिए बाई ट्रेन अच्छा ठीक है so the cost total costs are um, 220 rupees per head for a Pakistani adult and an extra 100 rupees if you're going to travel by the train. You can go by foot, but it's quite a long distance, a lot to cover as well, so um, it's probably best to sort of um, go by train. Plus it's exciting as well, you know. We're only young at heart, so train's always nice. So the timings as well, <coughs> I think they're important. Um, in the summer, the, uh, the site opens at 9 a.m. and shuts at 6 p.m. In the winter, it's 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So it's important to note that you don't want to come here and then, you know, you haven't got enough time to travel and, and see the place. So it's always good to know the time. So if you're a student as well, Pakistan student, 110 rupees. Uh, if you're coming in as, as a foreigner, adult, um, there's a place there, 20 American dollars per head. So, you know, <coughs> take the benefits uh, with our ID card for Pakistan. Um, and that's it. Yeah, have you got the tickets there, Sheikh? Just pass it over here. Right, so we've got our tickets here, guys, as you can see. And we're heading off now towards the mine. So we'll see you there shortly. थोड़ा डिनर टाइम लंच टाइम कर लिए तो फिर अंदर फिर जा सा इंशाल्लाह सो गाइस वीव कम टू कीवर सॉल्ट माइंस वी जस्ट कैन हैव सम लंच टू शो यू सम ऑफ़ द सराउंडिंग सॉल्ट माउंटेन्स एंड बिल्डिंग्स सम ऑल बिल्डिंग्स फ्रॉम द ब्रिटिश राज टाइम एंड वी विल वी विल हैव अ लंच नाउ एंड देन गेट � uh, we'll give you the prices as well of, of what they're going to charge so people who do travel here have an idea uh, of what things are going to So we've got some salad, we've got some dal and we've got some boneless chicken with the rotiya. And the, they've got a, they've, they do have a, a menu here with the prices and the various dishes that they serve. So we've gone for chicken boneless which is half a, a bowl. It's quite a big bowl actually. Uh, definitely enough for two. Uh, which is 700 rupees, chicken bonus, um, half there, and we've took some dal mash as well, dal jana, which is about 150, and then they charge 12 per chapati as well, and we've took some salad. Yep, so we've took some of uh, the salad as well, and uh, we're going to suck in now, and we'll chat later, because I don't want to let the food get cold, it is nippy. Oh, very nice food, very spicy, plenty of garlic, quality food actually very tasty and I think I'm going to recommend this place um, good food we've just had our lunch there and the total bill comes to 1080 rupees which converted uh, into pounds works out round about five pounds yeah roughly about five quid so a good meal there for two people fully uh, sated stuffed um, and uh, yep, yeah, we're ready to, to go now, so um, 1,080 rupees. Right guys, we're heading in down towards the, uh, the pathway and the rail line <coughs> to gain entry into the uh, mine. You can see there's lots of souvenir shops, some nice uh, trinkets there, uh, um, little park, you know, for kids, have some rides and whatnot. That's a wild bull there. Well, if they press the button, it will be wild. Not sure if that's safe though, but um, you can see the rail line there. 
a mark of engineering feared by the British Raj. They, um, when they were in India, obviously Pakistan was part of India as well. Uh, um, they built a lot of rail tracks that networked a lot of the region together for trade and business. <coughs> Welcome, Sam. So essentially, um, there's the station um, <coughs> ahead of 100 metres. Uh, we'll board the train when it comes, the next one. We'll find out when that is. And actually, the mountains that are there in the foreground, that's the ones that we'll be uh, travelling into. Uh, and it's a slow descent, um, but eventually, once we go right in there, it's, it's, it's totally, uh, it's dark. And uh, we'll see a lot of stuff in there. You're going to enjoy this. Entry and uh, when's the next train? Train uh, next train. No, no, no. Okay, can do it. You phone. Also, wrong to come here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Check it. Then, sir. Sir, sir. Oh, no. Oh, it's not a ticket. It's a. Angie. So the guy's just saying, uh, is that guy a foreigner? Obviously, he's just speaking uh, English there. So. Through door, just to check through there. Ugly train, get it off. See, get that down. I'm not base, inshallah. Okay, no. so the next train's in 15 20 minutes. So we'll just have a little sit down, enjoy the views, relax a bit, and then uh, we'll go through. Tiga ji. Did you? Oh, I did. Oh, Tiga. Okay. <coughs> see, these guys have actually come in walking, all these people. Uh, but we're opting for the train, you know, like I mentioned earlier, for kids at that, and we want to have a bit of fun. But you walk, you can see right down there, it's a long, long walk through there, but the train's going to save us some time, and that's probably better for us. Right, we're, we've reached the, uh, the station for the salt mines at Kira. We're just waiting uh, on the side here. 15, 20 minutes we've been told by the station master uh, that the next train will be... Uh, coming in, but just uh, while we wait, here's some more information. Um, you can sort of have a look at, at what's going on here. <coughs> so it's got the time office there. But I think this is the um, station master. Yep, it's got a record of uh, all the trains coming in and out the timings, whatnot. We've got the generators there. Um, they've got their own sort of system, obviously, that's going on there. But looking forward to this. There's the entrance into the mine. You can see a lot of people walking backwards and forwards. So, um, but we, as, as I mentioned earlier, are going on the train. It'll save us some time, you know, and uh, we'll get there quicker because lots to see inside. What I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is, guys, I'm going to give us a taster uh, for the mine. I'm just going to have a little walk in there. 
so you can see and feel what's coming ahead of us so it's quite a long shaft that um, goes right into the mine they've got sort of a bit of a wooden platform there for pedestrians walking in but <coughs> it's well <coughs> lit up you can see right inside there and it does go in for quite a while as well so but again am amazing achievement you know this has been here for quite a long time um and it's still going you know they're still mining in there um and it um it goes on for miles and miles so we're going to see some nice stuff in there when we go further so just wait for the train and we'll see you shortly right here we go guys we've got the intercity one two at five coming in thick and fast just wait for uh Tell us that in the beginning. <laughs> Do you want to jump on the front chest? Yeah. Sprite in. Yeah. Right, so <laughs> just let these people get off the train and then we're going to jump on. Um, going to face towards the, the cavern, yeah? Right, okay, we're jumping in. And it's quite a bit, you can put the bags on that side. Alright, okay. Hitcher. Sure? And we're going to be heading in there. We're just going to get. The train filled up <laughs> and then we're going in. Oh, okay. right, we're just uh, doing a quick shot of the guy in his uh, train sort of uh, cabin here. This is the the, the station, um, the train uh, captain and uh, you can see it's a nice little cabin in there for him. And you can see it there. Very nice to meet you, mashallah. So this guy's going to be taking us in. Um, we're going to wait for him. Uh, we're going to wait for him. 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 we Heading through the uh, the tunnels, we've now entered. It's electrically operated as well. It's not by steam or coal. Someone jumped off. See the structure, how it's been built and reinforced. The wall. There's something going on down there.
Let's get through this side here. Yep. Okay. Right, guys, you can see all the salt here. We're actually in the tunnel. The walls are fully with the ceiling. see the tunnel has multiple um, rail track lines, lots of cabins here. We've got a guide here as well, he's going to give us obviously some information there as well. Specific dominant. Okay. Right guys, we're in the, one of the tunnels here in Kivra and the guys, the guide's going to take us in. This is one of the tracks and you can see the salt. Look at the colours on the, uh, the walls, this is all salt minerals. Looks absolutely fantastic. Look at the colours, it's amazing. It's amazing. What... Right, let's go and see what... This guy's given us some information. red, white, or pink. color color white. mine the different types of uh, salt formations in the ceiling it's amazing look at that absolutely next level stuff this this is what you call quality, so they've named this one Jari Hill over here, as you can see. Right, so we're heading down towards uh, one of the tunnels, which we've been told we're heading towards the Shisha Mahal uh, that they've created here. So. So some more information we've got on here, and it's just reiterated again in 32 BC, uh, discovered at a time um, when the horses were sort of interested in taking the uh, the salt off the grass. They discovered then that actually there was a high content of salt in the ground, which led to the um, uh, the discovery that there was salt actually in the mine. There was salt in the mountains, and then the mines came about. Well, there's a Merry Christmas uh, tree growing in that, that water, but obviously it's been put in there, it's not natural. Piece here, which is the Shish Mahal. Sir, yes, the cross ventilation. 
जहां से माइन के अंदर ताजा हवा रही है यही रास्ता 2500 फीट पहाड़ के ऊपर खुला हुआ है और सबसे पहले माइन के अंदर आने का रास्ता है Right, that's an entrance to get into the mine. This way, it's 2,500 feet, uh, the distance. I've actually been up there, you know, not all the way at the top, but us. This is some kind of ventilation. You know, when we first came, we snuck away from the room. We did. This is the bottom giant machine. Yeah. All right, so we actually get water that comes down here as well. There's a pipe there. So this uh, access point basically brings in uh, fresh air from uh, above the ground to sort of feed uh, inside the mine for the people. We're going to get some water coming down there. It's good for the kids to see this. It reminds me of Raiders of the Lost Ark. It's like something out of the Raiders of the Lost Ark, this. Well, this basically this water goes back across over there into um, the water points so it's all interlinked the whole place i mean see lots of uh, tunnels lots of ways to go in and around So heading back towards the train now, the tour is over. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed that uh, trip there in Kibra Mines and I would certainly recommend um, other people when they do travel to Pakistan to come and visit Kibra. Um, it's not too expensive, so um, easily affordable for people who are sort of wanting to do the, the tours and whatnot in Pakistan. Um, but definitely um, recommended come and uh, share the experience um, in Kibra and indeed Pakistan. So uh, happy hunting, have a good journey and peace out from Kibra, Kibra town. There's our captain again. How are you? Thank you. Thank you. So the guy's going to um, get us back, just going to head back towards our cabin. Um, this time we'll be at the end, so we'll be at a seat. <coughs> <coughs> in reverse again we get a bird's eye view of flying back you can see the uh, the channels of salt there and the ground going through um, wow second biggest salt mine in the world and the first one being in Poland so we're quite proud of that and again highly recommended so if you're traveling to Pakistan Get, put some time out and come visit Kibra Salt Mines, definitely worth a shout out.